Okay, so again, um, we went over basic sampling terms. Now, what about basic sampler terms? A program. A program is this. You have pads, right? On most samplers. Sometimes they're keys, whatever. And the pads are blank. They're, they have nothing on them, right? And basically what you do when you, when you, with a program is you have pad one and you assign a sound to pad one. Now that doesn't actually put the sound on there. It's just when you hit pad one, it references a certain sample that you have loaded into your memory or on your hard drive or whatever, right? And when you hit pad one and you manipulate, you've manipulated that, that pad to pitch down and filter and all this stuff, it applies all of those parameters to that sound on the drive. But there's no actual sound on the pad. Um, and, and so programming, you know, a program is essentially where you assign sounds to pads and that's also a program is where you can manipulate those, those sounds. A sequence or a sequence er um, is basically, you know, you hit record and you press those pads on the program um, and it records when you press those pads in the sequencer. Again, it doesn't actually record audio. So when you uh, play the sequencer, and you hit your snares on the one uh, on the two and four, right? Basically, the sequencer's is MIDI, so it's just as it plays back, it says when it comes to the two, it says uh, when we get to the two, it's pad one that has the snare on it, and it will that's the sound that you'll hear. So it's just recording information, not actual audio. Um, but in the sequencer, this is where you have multiple tracks. This is where you have, um, you know, um, uh, uh, your recording space. So you can, rec this is where you start to build, build your songs or build your loops. Okay, you build your loops in the sequencer and then you can build songs. So um, your sequencer is basically where, you know, uh, for me, I'll have, you know, um, I like to keep my drums separate. So I'll have a kick track in there. Um, so I'll, I'll, you know, hit all my kick notes. I'll have a hi-hat. So I like to keep my drums all separate and then my snares. And then um, I'll have a bass line, you know, ba for my bass stuff. I'll have di various samples, vocal samples, different samples will all be on their own track. So I can, um, you know, manipulate the levels of the track and the mix as much as I can there. And a song is basically where you combine these, these sequences. So building songs is like you make a two bar loop or a four bar loop and building the song is you say, you know, essentially in, in, in the sampler is you say, play this two bar loop, you know, uh, four times. Play this four bar loop four times, then play this four bar loop two times. And there's your intro, first verse, chorus. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, it, it, this is all like, you know, you have to understand like um, when you're building songs and building sequences and building programs, it's all just MIDI notes and it's all just referencing, you know, information that's on the sampler. <laughs> Probably too much information for you.